The Star in Darkness is the title for this podcast. The Star in Darkness. Now, recently we talked about the symbolic meaning behind the spade in the Masonic system. And so here we have a spade, a coffin with a star on it. Now the symbolic meaning behind the symbolism is you are a star or we are stars. This is something that was said in ancient Kemet. Those of you who have read the Emerald Tablet, Teuti wrote, Man, know that you are a star, which means your rightful place is with the Divine Mother, whom we call Aset or Isis. Mary, whichever name you want to call it. Names are simply for expressions. It is the understanding thereof that is far more important. When we live according to our lowest nature, we descend downwards into the pits of hell and you all know that in this world we are all catching hell we are not free and so the star in a coffin simply means the soul is now trapped in darkness which is all of us unless you have found true freedom. In the book of Revelation, they talked about 144,000 who have been sealed from all the tribes of Israel. And some people have taken this to be some literal 144,000 people that will go to heaven. And God and His Son are waiting in the clouds waiting for these people to be slain in the earth so they can come to heaven. This is why I always say to people, the Bible can either free you or make a slave out of you. Yet still, it is a very important book if you understand it. If you take away the zeros, 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 4 is number 9. Now, when you study the Kabbalah tree of life, you have 10 sephiroths. If you add da'at, which should be at the top center, it will be 11. Normally, da'at is missing, which is knowledge. Number 9 is the realm of the zodiac, the divine mother, which tells you those who are sealed are those who find freedom. Those who free themselves from the realm of matter. They have access to the realm of the stars. It is very simple. Which is why Solomon, they said in the Bible, did not construct the temple until after 480 years. When they left Egypt. Now you know Egypt is a symbolic name. If you have studied the podcast. If you take away the zero. Again. 4 plus 8. Is 12. You have the 12 zodiacal sign. 
These are the 12 tribes of Israel. So they say 144,000 from all the tribes of Israel. Every single one of us bears an identity from one of these tribes or one of these zodiacal signs depending on the time you were born, the hour, the minute. We all have different personalities. And so the earth is full of children of Israel. And normally when you look at the zodiac signs, you see the sun in the center. And so through the sun, these characteristics of the zodiac is shared throughout the earth because the sun carries the spark of life. And the sun is a star in itself. But a great star. I am the vine and you are the branches. And so the Bible is a great book. But you must understand it. So don't be in a hurry to throw it away. Because if you follow the ignorant, you will get so pissed off, you will burn your Bible. But you shouldn't do that. As more understanding and more knowledge comes, it will all make sense to you. Because all of this stuff is not about miracles. It is about understanding. Because there are those who will ask you to perform miracles if you are truly the Son of God. Just as when you read the book of Matthew 26 and verse 68, people will punch Jesus from the back of his head and ask him, prophesy to us who punched you or who hit you or who slapped you if you really are the son of God. These are all temptations. You just need to focus on perfecting yourself each and every day. It doesn't happen overnight. I am not perfect. But the more knowledge we seek, the more wisdom and understanding that comes to us. We intend to grow in wisdom. So that by the time we lay the physical body down, which is just our mother and father's DNA that we are wearing, when we lay that down, we want to be sure that our minds are free from suffering or doubt. Because uncertainty only comes to those who are not preparing themselves. Like the ancients said, just as the fish in the ocean is caught suddenly by the cruel net, so it is for man when it comes to death. We all plan our day, yet nobody knows what the next hour is going to bring. Nobody gets a test message to say death is coming. So wear your finest outfit. We are all taken by surprise just as the fish in the ocean is caught by the net. And so we must gain understanding. That is nothing spooky in the Bible. It is all about our story. Peace.